It's time for Oliver. Well, well, well. <laughs> I'm finished. I got the big laugh on the first line. I'm done. <laughs> and just tickles me. <laughs> you know, it's nice to get mail from our listeners, especially the ones that agree with you. I received a letter about a solution to the current political situation in this country, and I have to say, I think it's a win-win for both sides. Let me preach on it, brother. Dear American liberals, leftists, social progressives, socialists, Marxists, and other Obama supporters. Hello! <laughs> We've all stuck together since the late 50s, but... This last election has made me realize that it's time for a divorce. Now I know that we tolerated each other for many years for the sake of future generations, but sadly, this relationship has run its course. Our two ideological sides of America cannot and will not ever agree on what's right for this country, so let's just end it on friendly terms. We'll chalk it up to irreconcilable differences and go our separate ways. To speed things up, Here's a model separation agreement. Our two groups will have to divide up the country by land mass. Now, this will be difficult. Maybe the best bet is to do this by letting the population choose up sides. Once people have decided if they want to live in conservative America or liberal America, it should be relatively easy to dole out real estate. Just an FYI, we're not interested in New York, California, Southern Florida, D.C., Chicago, Detroit, and all of New England. Since a recent poll says 85% of the country considers themselves conservative, this should really be plenty for you. Our respective representatives will divide up our assets since both sides have such distinctive and disparate tastes. We don't like the redistribution of wealth and punitive taxes, so you can keep those. You're also welcome to all the liberal judges, the jackholes at the ACLU, the Fruit Loops at the National Endowment of the Arts, the Nuts at Acorn, plus the NAACP, act up and move on. Since you hate guns and war, we'll keep our cops, our guns, the NRA and the military. You can have the Black Panthers, the Gay Pride Paraders and the Don't Ask, Don't Tell Us. We'll keep capitalism, greedy corporations, pharmaceutical companies, Walmart and Wall Street. You can have your beloved homeless, homeboys, hippies, illegal alien invaders, and global warming scam artists. We'll keep the hot Alaskan hockey moms, greedy CEOs, and rednecks. You can keep your man girls, your welfare cheats, and your snobs. We'll keep our Bibles, our farms, and the blue collar comedy tour. You can have Rosie O'Donnell, Michael Moore, and Oprah but you'll be responsible for creating a biofuel vehicle powerful enough to move all of them. <laughs> you can play kissy face with Al-Qaeda, Hamas, the Taliban, North Korea, Castro, Hugo Chavez, and everyone else who wants you dead. We'll retain the right to shock and awe the hell out of anyone who threatens us in our way of life. You can have the peaceniks and war protesters. Good luck fighting off the bad guys with diplomacy, apologies, and in very serious circumstances, catty remarks. We'll keep our Judeo-Christian values. You're welcome to your Scientology, Islam, secular humanism, atheism, and hell. <laughs> you can also keep your winter festivals, your spring celebrations, and all the other non-religious pseudonyms for Christian holidays. We'll keep Christmas, Easter, and the cross. We'll also make sure our president isn't so insecure that he has to remove the cross or crucifix before he speaks to religious groups. Ouch. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Knowing your concerns over the human impact on the environment, in your part of the country, you can control the excess population by outlawing opposite-sex marriages. We'll just keep letting men and women marry indiscriminately. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep our SUVs, pickup trucks, and land yachts. You can have your ugly little hybrid vehicles. <laughs> By the way, driving those will also go a long way to keeping your population down. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be drilling for oil everywhere on our side of the country. If one of our oil wells obstructs your view, please feel free to complain. We'll enjoy the laugh. 
You can keep the network news, MSNBC, CNN, and all the other news channels no one watches. You'll need them to keep your citizens BS'd, buffaloed, and blissfully ignorant. We'll keep Rush Limbaugh, Fox News, and the ratings. We'll need them to keep our citizens informed. You'll be able to give health care to everyone in your side of the country. Hip, hip, hooray! That is, if you can find any doctors willing to try and make a living there. We'll be happy to loan you some of ours, but it's going to cost you. The Star Spangled Banner? That's ours. You guys can have We Are the World, I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing, or Imagine. We'll also be praying in school and reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Maybe you can teach your kids some more songs about Obama. <laughs> we'll keep trickle-down economics, and you can give socialism and trickle-up poverty your best shot. Just remember, the working Americans will be on our side of the border and won't be contributing to your massive debt. And speaking of borders, we're going to be pretty damn serious about ours. How serious? Well, if you want to enter our side of the country the right way, all are welcome. But if you think you're going to pull a fast one and sneak over, well, remember that old commercial, roaches go in but they don't come out? You get the idea. So if this is all agreeable to you liberals, please pass this along to the others to sign and let's get this amicable, div amicable divorce done ASAP. And this shouldn't be a problem as liberals love to sign things without reading them. <laughs> so that's it. I like it. Who says divorce can't be fun? And by the way, if you have any amendments you'd like to include in this separation, send them along to the big show, and I'll update this on, on our next visit. God bless our America.